Brakata Yahua, Brakata Yahua Shai, Kal Halayam La Yahua, Bahasham Yahua Shai, Brachaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahua is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahua Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Brachaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on the way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shabbat Shalom. This is Brother Matati from the Great Millstone Camp to branch on Des Moines. Not sure what my title is lesson just yet, but it's inspired through the Holy Spirit. I was watching uh, the Elder Yashawamba earlier today. And he had made a statement within his lesson. And he said there is, how did he word it? I think this is what I'm going to title it. I believe this is how he worded it, if I'm not mistaken. He said, there's too much pride and not enough fear of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and he was spunk, he was speaking, uh, you know, well, was he speaking about Israel only or was he talking about in the world, period? Now, we know in the world, period, but if you calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite, man, you know, the days will no longer... Yeah, and I forgot the minute mark. Man, I forgot the minute mark. But, I, but I'm, I'm going to just entitle it like that, man. Too much pride and not enough fear. You know? Because the Spirit is showing forth. The Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, is showing forth through the Spirit, you know, that he's getting, this more, the closer we get to the end, the more serious and more intense this thing is becoming, man. You know? The Lord is not playing any longer, man. It speaks about those that despise the counsel, right? Proverbs, the first chapter. And I'm talking about Israelites, man. We already see the judgment that happened to uh, um, the guy that was in uh, the California camp, you know, the uh, an affiliate group of Great Millstone, right? So that's a, 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 a live example of a guy who... Who is under the right tutelage because they're in the affiliate camp of Great Millstone, man. <laughs> right? So they're listening, following the orders of, uh, of the apostles of Great Millstone down. They're under the right vibration. That means they're in the right doctrine. You see? And you had an individual amongst them who were not taking heed to the counsel that was given unto, uh, uh, unto him through the brothers that surround them, man. And what happened? The Lord took them off the earth gruesomely. You see? And it was right after camp. So it ain't like he was a fallout. It ain't like he stopped coming to camp or he wasn't doing his lessons. So that's a lesson for us, man. Just because you're doing your lessons, just because you're out in the highways and hedges, does not mean that the Lord is not angry. Does not mean that the Lord will not take us off this earth, man, if we're not moving according to the spirit he wants us to move in. You see? It goes deeper than just lessons. It goes deeper than just you just being a body there with a garment on on Saturday or Sunday or whatever day you go out. It's Proverbs 1. <clears throat> and five, a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels, man. So if the spirit is upon you're in a particular camp or you're amongst a, a, a group of brothers and the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is on those brothers to tell you something, you should be uh, uh, mindful of what's being told you, man. See, the scriptures talk about a guy who is not daunted with fear. This is Sirach 32 and 18. A man of counsel will be considerate. See? See, a wise man, a man of understanding, he will be considerate. Let's look up that word considerate. Careful not to cause inconvenience or hurt to others. Attentive. Thoughtful. Mindful, showing careful thought, consider our aid. That's where it goes back to examine, showing careful thought from Latin consideratus, right? To examine, <laughs> you see? So a man of counsel, a, a man of the Lord, a man who's, who the spirit of wisdom dwells in, when something is being told unto him, he will be considerate. He will give careful thought. He will examine it. 
You see, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he have done without counsel, man. You see, so you got guys that's moving at their own fucking uh, whim, man, leaning to their own understanding. Here it is. The spirit is saying do A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So that you could be a uh, 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 mindful. Right. Of the brothers that surround you, because that's also one of the definitions said what? That you can be thoughtful. It says careful not to cause inconvenience or hurt to others. So the spirit to tell you ways in order how to prove yourself so that you're not a liability to the brothers in the future, man. You see. The spirit might tell you, hey, brother, hey, hey, you need to calm down with the drinking, bro. Because hey, I, I see the, the, the path you walking down, the drinking could cause you problems in the long run. That's what happened with the guy. He wasn't taking heed to uh, uh, to the council, and all of a sudden, the Lord gave him over to that drink. He walked in the fucking highway and got smacked up, man. You see? And that's to the extreme. That, that means the Lord was done warning him, man. Right? But the Lord, uh, 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 have you... A brother with a drinking problem, you go drinking and then start driving and all of a sudden now you you you, you catch a, a, a DWI, man, or a DUI. Get your car taken away, get your license taken away. Now you're a liability to the other brothers to, to help you about. Or now you got to spend more money and catching a bus. You see, but if you took heed to the council saying, look, be moderate in your drink, discipline yourself in your drink, brother, that's a problem. It's a problem. You might not see it, but the other brothers see it. So the spirit is warning you on it. And I'm just using this drink as, as, as an example. It could be it could be uh, uh, many other things that the spirit is 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 warning brothers about through other brothers, man. And once again, a man that fears Yahweh Basham Yahweh a man of counsel, a wise man, he will be thoughtful. He will be a, 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 a tentative. He would show careful thought. He will examine the matter. Right. Verse 19, back in Sirach 32, 19, do nothing without advice. And when thou has once done, repent not. You see, because that advice is what allows us to stand sure. You see, because it says what? Um, how is it worded? Timber. Sirach 22, 16, as timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loose with shaken. So the heart. So the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. And our counsel comes through the Holy Spirit, man. Because we have what? Brothers who have been exercised through the Spirit to be able to uh, uh, properly discern the right course of action. You see? And we have this, man. We have something that no other nation has, man. And you got guys amongst us who, 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 who would... Uh, uh, um, Shit on that, man. Jacob said, no, 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 you do. By your actions, man. By your actions. You see? Because the scriptures talk about. Properly waging war through counsel, man. We're in a battle, right? We constantly battle in this flesh. We, 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 you know, we battle in thoughts. You know, we had odds against the vibration and the, and, and the wickedness of this earth. This is a uh, Proverbs 20 and 18. Every purpose is established by counsel. And with good advice, make war. You see. Proverbs 24 and 6 for by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war. And in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So that's very key, man. To be amongst this body, to be amongst brothers who are who are who are uh, um, looking out for our welfare, for our betterment, right? Because going back, I believe it's the fourth chapter. Because going back, every nation have not what we have, man. This is Tobit <clears throat> four and eighteen. Ask counsel of all that are wise, and despise not any counsel that is profitable, man. So for brother telling you, 
you know, uh, uh, hey, 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 brother, you know, that app-based job, man, hey, I don't, I don't think you got enough discipline for that app-based job, brother. You constantly got your hand out. You constantly asking for this. You constantly asking for that. You need help for this and that, you know? So you don't have enough discipline to work for yourself. You need, you need, you need to go get something where you need to clock in, bro. So you can better yourself. So you can better put yourself in a financial, you know, um, uh, to help you, your financial stability so you can be able to help yourself and be able to help others, man, if the need be. But you got guys that want to do the bare minimum. They want to sit around and and, 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 fu and fulfill the lust of the flesh and do just the bare minimum to get by in the spirit and uh, 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 carnally wise. That's ain't, that, that, that ain't what this is about, man. And once again, if the spirit has zeroed in on that, and, 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 and mention that that's something that, you know, that brother should be mindful of. And once again, this is just examples I'm speaking on, man. Because ha I've had to deal with matters concerning brothers drinking, concerning br brothers uh, uh, financial stability, <laughs> you know. So these are all, you know, ex uh, uh, examples or things I'm speaking on, you know, through experience, man. Tobit 4 and 18 asks counsel of all that are wise and despise not any counsel that is profitable. Bless the Lord thy power always and desire of him that thy ways may be directed and that all thy paths and counsels may prosper for every nation have not counsel. You see. Us as the nation of Israel, we have the counsel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to look to, man. And we're even more blessed because. The majority of our people are not taking heed to the council. They're despising the Lord's counsels and his reproofs. So it's a very few, very small number of us, man, who are very blessed, who are very fortunate to have this council because the majority of this earth is without it, man. You see? For every nation hath not counsel, but the Lord himself giveth all things and humbleth whom he will as he will. Now, therefore, my son, remember my commandments, neither let them be put out of thy mind. But the point being is that we are very privileged. We are very blessed to have the counsel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah to look to, man. Psalm 73, 24, thou shalt guide me with thou counsel. This is how the Lord is guiding us in the way that we should go. And afterward, receive me to glory. Is that not what we're hoping for? <laughs> to be received to glory? Well, that means we got to take heed to the counsel that's being given us. Right? Because we have a general counsel that the spirit talks to us that tells us, you know, we all supposed to be what? On the, on the highways and hedges. You know, we all supposed to do our sit down lessons, <laughs> you know. But now uh, within our walk. You know, because as we go, you know, deeper into it, within our walk, there's um personalizations, man, for lack of a better word. Because the things and the afflictions and the trials and tribulations I'm going through might not be the same that you're going through. So how I adjust and how I move and what the spirit telling me within my life might not be for you. I know me. <laughs> so I know I need to go clock in, man. I'm not the one to, to, to do it, uh, the, the, the app based thing. The scripture says, know thyself, know what's uh, evil for it and give not that unto it. You know. So that's just me. Some brothers, they, 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 uh, they flourish with the app base. Certain brothers, they can't, they can't handle it, man. Certain brothers didn't develop the, uh, 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 the right amount of discipline to do, uh, to do those things, man. You know, me personally, I'm not a people person. You know, <laughs> I ain't finna be Uber, Ubering, you know, and get, getting people food, and you know, that, that, that's just not me. But I know myself. But if the spirit came to me and said, look, bro, you know, this job that you're working, man, is, 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 is doing too much. It's taking too much of your time. You're not able to focus. You're not able to up the bam. Maybe you need to try this. And then through the spirit, I got to be like, damn, you know, 
Now I got to adjust. Now I got to find a way to adjust to what the spirit is telling me. Because if not, then the Lord can remove our candlestick, man. This is how deadly serious this, 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 this thing that we're a part of is, man. Let's see. <clears throat> Multitude of counsel. I know it's a couple, a couple more that say that. Proverbs 11 and 14, where no counsel is, the people fall, you see? But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. The multitude of that, 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 that brotherhood, man. <laughs> you know, that brotherhood of, of, of men who are going to instruct you and guide you and tell you what you need to hear in order to better you in the situation, man, that you're in. Proverbs 15 and 22, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established, man. You see? Fern, they are established. You know, so 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 it's it, it's 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 very vital, you know, that we that we take heed to what the Lord is telling us, man. At times we might not be able to see it, as it is written in Job: "The Lord speaketh once, yea, twice, but man perceiveth it not." But it, what it says: a wise man will, will, will fear in all things; a wise man knoweth when he slippeth. Right. Whether it be the spirit revealing it unto you or whether it be, you know, the brothers coming to tell you. Because we've all, you know, I speak for myself, man. I've been in situations where, you know, the spirit was telling me something and I wanted to do it my way. And then what? The Lord calls a, a, a situation, a tribulation or, or a trial for me to be put in, for me to consider. Man, the spirit been telling me to, you know, yep. Now, this is the Lord's show. Sometimes it's needed. Those Jonah moments are needed. So that the brother can understand how serious it is, man. He might need to spend three days and three nights in the belly of hell. And I'm proverbially speaking, you know, I'm talking about, you know, the situation with Jonah. Because the, the, the counsel, the Lord be talking to brothers, man. And we can't just do our own thing. We can't move according to our own way. And at the end of the day, if we men of the Lord, the Lord going to jack our ass up and we going to end up doing it right anyway. But I don't want to test that. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't want to play with the I don't want to play in those waters, man. So if the Holy Spirit is letting us know, guiding us or telling us something that we need to do within our personal lives, man. Especially if multiple brothers is coming, speaking on a certain matter. Then the fear of the Lord, if, if that brother truly fears the Lord, then is, 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 you're going to see that adjustment. You're going to see that that that, that willingness to, uh, 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 you know, to step out of his comfort zone. Because that's what it is, man. A lot of Jake is fucking lazy. A lot of Jake is locked into a, 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 a that comfort. No, man. Comfort kills kings. Comfort kills that uh, uh, uh that zeal. Comfort kills that edge. You see. So then let's not, let's not get complacent in 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 in, in, in normalities, man. And what I mean by that is, oh, yeah, this is normal. This is a normal day, and uh, let's not get complacent in that, man. Normal day today, I'm gonna get off work and go to the bar and, and uh, you know. I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking this in the spirit. Let's not get complacent. We at the beginning of 2024, according to Esau's whack ass calendar, man. And it started off with a bang, it started off with great judgment. And just because it ain't touching us physically or, or touching us personally, per se, does not mean, you know, that the Lord ain't, 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 you know, ready to act, man. 
Keep in mind, the Lord said, I will start at my house. He told us that the axe is laid to the root of the trees. If it's not bringing forth good fruit, it's going to be hewn down, man. And don't just don't and don't just think the fruit. Oh, yeah, I do my lessons and I might camp every week. And, uh, it also goes into the deeds that you performing when the camera's not rolling, man. How you moving in your everyday life? How you sacrificing in your everyday life? Keep in mind, Romans twelve says, man, we're, we're on that altar, man. We're living sacrifices. You know? So I'm going to end it there, man. Lord, well, I hope this was edifying. <clears throat> Shalom.